right of gas. We are starting out. Uh, 2017 public land hunt. Rifle season. And I am in the passenger seat, so that means that I have a driver today. My driver B. Bam! Tom! What's going on, guys? Not much, man. What's going on with you? <laughs> oh, not a whole lot. Driving this, this punk around all the time. Punk? Really? I hate it. <laughs> but we got some awesome scenery. We decided to take the scenic route out to uh, our public land destination. And naturally, I'm making a video, so somebody decided to finally text me. Anyway. But, uh, yeah, so we're cruising about 60 miles an hour. Got some scenic uh, highway going on. So, uh, yeah, just letting you guys know that we don't always hunt private land. Like you guys should have seen in the video uh, of 2016 and 2017 deer camp. But, uh, yeah, so... We will hit you guys back whenever we get uh, to our destination. Peace out. So we just pulled into our uh, public land space there. And uh, we got ourselves a little porter john. You know, we're going to be uh, camping pretty much right next to it. You know, hopefully the wind doesn't go to where we're camping, which uh, is fine. We'll check that out, but... uh. It make, it's pretty handy for those late night poop trips you gotta take, just so you don't have to dig a hole in the woods. Right. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. The, uh, the drinks of the trade. Diamond Dew. Sweet tea. Got some Gatorade. Got some water. Yeah. We, uh, we're rocking out to some, uh, Musical Blades on the way down. Their new album. A little shout out to them. And, uh, yeah, we'll be doing a, uh, once we get our tent set up, we're going to do a uh, gear, so, yeah, keep watching. What's going on, guys? It's uh, Tom out here with Seth Rowe from Bottom Shelf Boomsticks. Uh, we're just going over a gear video of what I'm taking with me out into the field while, we're, while I'm hunting this year. Uh can never go wrong with it being a little chilly out with headgear especially with a face mask because that early morning wind is brutal especially in Missouri because it go, can go from what 55 now to maybe 20 in the morning so I always got to be prepared for that cold chill to wipe through so I always bring one of these with me it looks like it's reversible it might actually be and it is. Look at that. So. There's your orange hat. Boom. I carry my, my orange hat with me just because I'm a hat guy. I'm not a big stocking cap guy. So this is only whenever it's extremely cold out that I throw this on. Going in, orange hat, orange vest, regulations in Missouri. So always keep those together in my pack during the off season so it's always with everything right when I am ready to pack up and leave and hit the road. Going on, I got my skinning knife. This is actually a uh, a knife that was designed by one of my buddies. His name's uh, Dennis Savage. He actually makes his knives. Uh, he does not smith his knives. He handles them, sharpens them, builds sheaths, puts them through. You can tell that nice Damascus pattern on it. And this is something that him and one of my other friends sat down and collaborated about and was trying to figure out a good skidding knife design. And he had some made up, and I'm going to give it a try this year. I actually put the I put the handle and everything on this. It's still, it's still a little rough, but not too shabby. And... He does make different knives. If you guys have anything that you want to, uh, any swords, knives, anything that's Damascus related, 
look up uh, Dennis Savage, and he'll uh, on Facebook. He should be able to hook you guys up with some good deals and whatnot. Uh, going on into my ammo that I'm bringing with me this year, I'm actually hunting with a AK-47, a 762 by 39 millimeter round. These are two five ma five round mags, just because it's not legal to hunt with anything over uh, anything any high capacity mags so I went ahead and bought two of them just so I make sure if I go through one if then I have a backup digging deeper into my bag of goodies here I've got my call it's a, uh, the flex tone buck wheeze dough call um, just something else, extra in arsenal just to help out your hunt. And going in, rope. You never go without rope. You shoot a deer, it goes down. I don't think you want to drag by the antlers the rest of the way. It kind of tears up your hands. So I always recommend to bring rope. This is actually nylon webbing cord. Uh, but you can use anything from just nylon, regular nylon rope or natural fiber rope, whatever is easiest to get. A set of knives. Uh, when you're out there, make sure you always have a nice sharp knife to help field dress. There's a little pack that Seth got me last year. And always bring some sort of binocular device. Uh, these ones, I don't like shooting with a scope, so these bring me a better image on what the deer looks like just in case of any regulations in the area that you're hunting. Going into the next pocket, extra orange. Uh, I put this up just in case whenever I'm hunting public land like we are this year. I put this up just as an extra visibility tool for them to know that hey somebody's over here watch where you're pointing. I always like to bring pit a nice thing of deer urine. Uh, this one is actually fairly cheap. You can get it at Walmart in a two pack or one pack. Um, just an extra thing in an arsenal. You never, you can always keep trying stuff. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Go on to something new. Um, usually with the deer urine, I just put a little bit on my boots just to help with walking in. Gives it a nice, helps cover up my scent. So, but yeah, this is a uh, Badlands bag. It's actually pretty nifty. Uh, special features: unzip that part, hang it up. You got yourself a shelf. Got hot hands back in here, uh, just in case it does get cold. I like to throw those in my boots. But. Yeah, that's pretty much all of my hunting stuff that I bring with me out into the field. Um, I don't know if Seth did a video on this one, but this may look familiar. This is what I'm using this year. It's a, uh, what's that, the IO? IO Ink. IO Ink. Uh, retails, what, 400? Uh, five. 500. Right around there, so it's specific. It it fits in that category of that bottom shelf boomstick, definitely, as a inexpensive AK. And I'm gonna see if I can't take it a uh, take a deer down with it this year. And just so you know, it's been 100% reliable. I every time I've shot in it, I've not had a flaw or anything with it yet. So it could just be one of those good things in a. One of those diamonds in a rough kind of a thing. But I have not heard any bad reviews on IOs on YouTube or anything. All the research that I put into it. So well, that's it for me, Tom. And uh, Seth will be up, here, up next with his gear video. Hold on. Go. So uh, checking out my, uh, my monkey bag. You guys saw this in my uh, my last video. You know, 
I just didn't go through it, but it's still the same gear. Alright, so first off, got some scent away, Bio Strike. Yeah, you know, just help with scent. Earmuffs. Because guns are loud. Moving on. Got a Primo's can. Got uh, some 243 100 grain soft point power shock federal ammo. Yeah, it works. I uh, got some more ammo. Same stuff. Got a little rattle bag. And that's it with big pocket number one. Little pocket number two. Let's see here. We got a mossy oak skin and knife. Gut knife. Still got a little hair and whatnot from last year, but whatever. Uh, I don't think the dead deer will mind. Got a uh, streamlight flashlight. That thing's retarded bright. A little on the cold side. Got my tags. Gotta have those with you. Got another little, this is an old timer. A little Sherade Pro Hunter. Yeah, a little knife. I'm gonna test that out this year. Uh, that's it for that side. Now, special feature. I can just throw this over one side, throw this over, you know, and wear it like body armor. Even though it's not body armor, but you get the drift. One can't pretend. Right. Like, let me have my moments. Uh, I always like having a, a, a B pause, especially whenever I'm out on uh, public land, just in case if I do get injured somehow, some way, unfortunately. Uh, got a pin in there. Got some extra ear pro, in case I forget those back at camp. I've been known to do that. Let's see here, got some gloves. Extra sticky. Got a couple of sharpeners. Got some red fox piss. Another sharpener. If you haven't noticed, I like knives sharp. Makes for cleaning deer a lot easier. This one here, I got a uh, got a night and hail coon squalor. In case we decide to do some predator hunting. Also got a uh, verminator. In case we want to do some coyotes or whatever. See if we can't call in some coyotes. Uh, ooh, my favorite knife, my timber wolf. Uh, used that a couple of times on some deer. Got a little grunt call. Yeah, I believe this is also night and hail. Yeah. Got a walkie. Uh, it works for you know the distances that we're gonna be apart from each other, so it'd be all right. Got some Bushnell uh, binoculars, so, you know, can see further away without pointing my rifle to, or my uh, scoped 243 at somebody on accident. And let's see here, what else do I have? Any other secret components? That pretty much does it. Uh, also, I got my orange. You know, so. Yeah. That's what I carry every time I go out into the woods. Oh, and my special fuzzy hat. I special got, fuzzy hat. Yeah. Got this at a Army Surplus store, and it is the greatest hat known to man. Anyway. We'll, uh, see. Alright, so it's daylight, it's not raining, we didn't go out this morning because of the rain and everything, but uh, yeah, this is our, uh, this is our tent, that's our uh, vehicle o death.
Silverado. Tom calls it the Whitetail Edition. So, uh, yeah. We're gonna see if we can't get something going on this afternoon. Uh, day one, public hunt. What's up, buddy? What's going on, guys? Alright, so, got monkey bag. Got the Badlands. Running Carhartt. I'm running Carhartt pants. You know. Got these gloves, see what happens with these. Uh-oh, he thought of something. Uh-oh. Let's go see what's going on here. What did you remember? Oh, we might need our rifles. <laughs> yeah, 243. And the AK Sporterized. Sporterized or Sportster? It's a. I want to say Sporterized. That's what it says. Alright. Uh. And, Tom, what pistol are you running today? I've got my Glock 23 40 caliper with me today. Yep, firefighter edition. Yep. In other words, it's got the fighter fighter firefighter back plate. Yeah. And I'm running the uh, Rock on Armory CS45. It's like a three and a half inch barrel, something like that. There'll be there'll be a review come. What's up? stuff behind my seats. Yep. I found it. Holy dog shit. I yeah. Found it. Musical blades. We've been looking for this CD since last year. Last year. <laughs> <laughs> We're listening to that on the way home. Or later today. Whatever. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's digging deep. What are you digging out? Pulling out a whole kind of Let's see here, we got us a little timber rattler. And we got a, uh, this sheath looks familiar. Got a little, uh, pocket knife there. Uh, it's actually a special. Oh yeah, what is that? That's special edition. This. You're supposed to know this stuff, man. Is a grizzly bear, third of s three third of seven and it was limited to 600 different so nice. bam wow 20 bucks and it's sharp it's a frost cutlery cutlery right on nice so that's probably gonna come with us Tom, I think I got a pretty good nickname for you, man. What? Tom Bear. Or Bear Tom. Something. Something to do with Bear and Tom. We'll figure that out later. Anyway, so uh, we're just getting loaded up. Mad Dash as usual. Porter John. Uh, and, uh, yeah. We'll uh, keep you all informed. What's going on, guys? Tom here with uh, Sathro from Bottom Shelf Boomsticks. This is uh, day two, end of hunt three. Uh, it's been a pretty cold weekend camping, but we're about to wrap it up here up in our, at our uh, public land hunt. So we didn't get to hunt the first day morning because the it started storming out here and rained quite a bit and I'm sorry I didn't want to get sick the first day out so me and Seth agreed not to we did go out evening weekend oh the evening of day one and uh, saw one doe no shots no good shots on nothing so uh, day two went out in the morning didn't see a thing colder than cold I was out there till about 
9, 9.30 in the morning, and I was just, I just couldn't take it anymore. So we're out here at the end of day, th day two, hunt three, so nothing yet. So we might be seeing you guys for alternative season. Seth? Uh, just remember that ounces equals pounds. Uh, water is good ounces. We didn't bring none of that on our uh, on our hunts. Always thought about it, but just never did. And uh, public land hunting ain't for pussies. I'll tell you that. And uh, that's all I got for you. You guys don't have no set of do you? Uh, I got plugs. I'll take the plugs.